Hi everybody, this is Luis from Optimum Works, your premier handrail manufacturer. And today we're at a client's house in Los Angeles and we're gonna teach you how to install a stainless steel handrail. So right now I'm gonna show you what's gonna come with the handrail and what you're gonna need in order to install the handrail. You're gonna need a pencil, stud finder, chalk string line or string line, drill, tape, tape measure, and a four foot box level. So here we have the handrail itself, a stainless handrail in a brush finish, or you have the option to get it in a mirror finish. And here are the brackets, which are wall mount brackets. And those are gonna come with the wood screws, drywall anchors, and the self drilling screws, and the drill bit. All right, so we're gonna get into installing the handrail. And the first step we have to go through is to mark the height for the handrail. So California code, we're gonna need the handrail to be at a 34 to 38 inch height from the nosing of the step right here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is to mark the 36 inch height on the box level. All right, so right here, I'm putting the level plumb and I'm gonna be marking the height with a pencil. And we're gonna do this step here and at the last nose at the top. All right, so now we're gonna mark the height of where the handrail is gonna go using a string instead of a chalk line so we don't mark the wall or affect the paint. All right, so we marked our height using this yellow string line. So this is gonna mimic where the top of our handrail is gonna be once installation is done. Now we're gonna find our studs and mark them and this is where we're gonna be attaching our brackets. So I found a stud right here, mark it. So when it comes to mounting the brackets, we're gonna need to mark the first and last bracket so that we're able to mount the handrail. All right, so first, first things first, in order to mount the handrail bracket with this little cover plate, we're gonna have to remove the cover plate. All right, so make sure the top of the bracket aligns with the, the total height of the wall mounted handrail. All right, and now we're gonna commence with a pilot hole for the wood screws to the studs. Make sure to just mark the hole and then remove the bracket and make it better. So now we're gonna mount the first wall mount bracket and we're gonna start by mounting it at the correct height, putting the screw and fastening it to the wall. Just make sure not to do it so tight because we still need room for the bracket to be able to swivel. So now we're gonna make sure the hole is marked and then drill it. Alrighty, so once you have the first and last wall mount brackets mounted, we're gonna place the handrail in the position we're gonna want it to be in. All right, so once the handrail is in place, we're gonna get our marker and mark where we're gonna do the pilot hole. And we have the choice to either drill the pilot hole in place or drill it down. So you're gonna need a special titanium drill bit that's included with the hardware. And we're gonna begin drilling the pilot hole. All right, so a common problem when installing a handrail is that you can't secure or find the studs on the wall. So in order to avoid that, we could install a drywall anchor. So here's how the anchor is gonna come. And all we're gonna do is take it off the nut, put it into the hole we want, put it like this. And then we're gonna make a hole approximately the diameter of this. Okay. 
In order to secure the handrails to the wall mount brackets, we're gonna need to drill a pilot hole with this special titanium drill bit that I include. Then we are going to fasten the self drilling screws. All right, so in order to put the cover plate back onto the bracket, once you have the bracket secured, we are gonna take off the screw at the top. Simply place the cover plate and put the screw back on. Okay, so once the handrail is up, and if you need to add more brackets, what you're gonna have to do is divide the space between the brackets equally. So in this situation, we now marked where we're gonna put the second and third bracket in between these three brackets, and just make sure to space them out equally so it looks nice. So now that the handrail is all done and installed, you're gonna need some stainless steel cleaner, which you could get at any hardware store, and a cloth. All right, everybody, as you can see, we've finished installing the handrail. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you in the future. Please check out my Etsy shop, my website, and YouTube for more content. Thank you.